Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Tori. If you're new here, welcome. And if you've been here, welcome back. Such an exciting day ahead of me. The next 28 hours I will be spending in Manchester and I'm so, so excited. I've never been this far north in England before, so that's exciting. I'm meeting a friend for the first time. Her name is Federica. At first, we met because we thought we were going to be going to the same university and studying the same program, um, Human Resource Management. Come to find out, she ended up moving to Manchester with her boyfriend, which is completely fine, but we stayed in contact. And so we finally get to meet today. We can talk about both of our struggles <laughs> doing this master's program um, and just catch up. I love the vibes that we always have when we talk with each other through WhatsApp and Instagram. And so I'm so excited to meet her in person. Also, my lovely friend Sadi, who I talk about all the time, she has family in Manchester and she has actually been there for like a week now. So I thought that was really ironic that both of our trips kind of lined up. So I plan to hang out with her on Sunday as well. So 28 hours, so much to do, so much to see. I will probably have to take another trip back to Manchester one day to just slow down and take my time. <laughs> but in the meantime, we are going to get this vlog going. I have to catch a mega bus. <laughs> I guess it's like a big coach or a charter bus is what we would call it back home. And it is a four hour ride, a little bit longer than four hours, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, <laughs> I plan to edit some of this video, work on my dissertation, work on other content that I'm creating, just try to stay productive. But if I need to nap, then I'm going to do that as well because I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. But yeah, <laughs> I am just going to finish up getting ready today. I have about 45 minutes until I need to leave to go catch my bus. I'm just gonna bring you all with me throughout my 28 hours in Manchester. Let's see what I get into. The lighting sucks, but you know, we always have to do a little OOTD before we hit the road. <clears throat> Excuse me, got my little bag. <laughs> this is my 24 hour bag. Let's see, hopefully I brought everything I need. But yeah, I love these head wraps. I just feel amazing. <laughs> to Manchester yay the Sun is shining I got my shades on because it is that bright and it feels lovely lovely out here it feels so so nice it's probably like 60 65 degrees can't yay. complain but I do have about a 15 minute walk to the hotel I need to put my things down take a break <laughs> and then I'll be meeting up with Federica so I need to use my phone for directions, of course, but just want to let you know I made it safely to Manchester. hotel room. It's 
kind of small, but that's okay. It's only me. It's only me in here. And the view, it's not much of a view, but it's okay. Like I said, the weather is beautiful. I'm absolutely in love. The city is so modern and pretty. Definitely, definitely a great change of scenery from Oxford. <laughs> Historical Oxford. But yeah, I'm going to try to freshen up a little bit. I've been on the road for four hours. I'm so hungry and all the things that I could be hungry, tired, all of that. But <laughs> I'm going to freshen up, like I said, and then me and Federica are meeting around 4.30. So that gives me about 30 minutes to kind of relax for a second, which I will take full advantage of. But yeah, <laughs> could not wait to show you guys what we have in store. Apparently, there's like a championship tonight for football. Manchester against somebody. I don't know. So I suspect the city might get a little wild. I might have chose a good day to come. I don't know. <laughs> we will see. But I will check in with you guys when I meet up with Federica. <laughs> Okay, so just checking in, we are at Exchange Square, uh, which is still in city center. Still in city center? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Obviously, there's so many people out here. Um, I think I showed you guys, we had like this food shop set up place. What do you call that? I don't know. It was like a bunch of different food places set up. So I got some Chinese food and that was really good. And we sat and ate and we were able to talk. I absolutely love Federica. I've already loved her anyways, but like, now it's official. We officially met each other in person. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Hi guys. Hi. Oh. <laughs> uh, no. Oh my gosh. She's scared. Nothing to be scared of. It's just a little YouTube. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah. So I'm Freddie. I'm from Italy and I live here in Manchester. And you should come because it's amazing. No, you should yeah. come visit Manchester. Yeah. Yes, it is I'm really nice. Here. Very modern. That's what I like. It's a modern city. It's not old and ugly like Oxford. <laughs> but yeah, she's just showing me around city center. We're going to meet up with some of her friends in a little bit. And yeah, you guys just stay tuned, okay? <laughs> <laughs> welcome to day two in manchester i just want to give you a brief rundown of what happened yesterday federica basically just took me sightseeing around city center and manchester is so so beautiful oh my gosh like i'm actually super excited for today just to have eight more hours to explore a little bit more connect with some people and i really think i might just have to come back i might just have to come back to manchester because the vibes are everything so yeah, we just did a lot of sightseeing. And then Federica's friends had other friends who were coming to visit Manchester as well who have never been here. So it ended up being like 15 of us, <laughs> like one big group. We stayed outside. And like I mentioned, the match happened yesterday, the championship. So like half the group left to try to go watch the match in the pub. And then the other half of us went to another pub and just had drinks outside and connected with each other. So that was very, very nice. I got back to my hotel at a reasonable time. I'm well rested and I'm ready for day two. So I'm so excited to go 
meet Sadi. I know I talk about her so much, but like I really do love her. <laughs> and this is like the longest I've been away from her since I've been back. And I just can't wait to give her a big hug and just enjoy my day with her. Oh my gosh, I love her so much. Also, there's a fun fair today in Manchester that Federica invited us to. So I'm going to meet up with Sadi. We're going to have lunch and go to the fun fair and who knows what the world has in store for us after that. <laughs> but I cannot wait to bring you all with me. I hope you all are enjoying the sights of Manchester just as much as I am. And y'all, today, there is not a cloud in sight at all. You can't beat that. You cannot beat that. I needed this weather. I needed these vibes, all of this. And I'm going to take it all in. <laughs> so stay tuned. Can't wait to show you what day two has in store. Lunch was amazing. Dive. It was kind of expensive, but it was worth it. I will say that. It was worth it. It's kind of tapas style. It seems as if right now, Sadi and I are on this tapas vibe. Every time we go out, this will be good, something like that. It was great, though, and I'm so happy to be reconnected <laughs> with Sadi. Oh, my goodness. Uh, so we've now met up with Federica and her boyfriend and yeah, we're going to be going to the fair. I'm actually I'm excited and scared at the same time. Fairs scare me because think about it. They pick up the equipment and move it to station to station and place to place. And I don't know. I'm just scared. Is it stable? Is it safe? I guess we'll find out. I'm, <laughs> I'm so excited to bring you guys with me and just see what is Manchester Fun Fair Day talking about. Guys, I don't know about this. These rides, like <laughs> some of them, I was actually like shaking after these little baby rides. Baby rides. Would you call them? <laughs> I think I underestimated the carnival. No, they were not baby rides. We were definitely screaming, but yeah, it was nice. It was nice. Did you enjoy yourself? <laughs> okay. You feel nauseous. You feel nauseous. Oh my goodness. And you enjoyed yourself? I did. Now we're just sitting in the park catching the rays it is beautiful it is a beautiful day not a cloud in sight it is so hard to believe but we're just taking it all in taking it all in so it is a little bit later around 7 p.m and we are going to the marina 
it is, I guess, the water side area. Apparently, there's gonna be a lot of people there. Also, I didn't tell you guys, I decided to stay a little bit longer in Manchester because I just didn't want my day to feel rushed. I wanted to be able to explore more of the city that I didn't get to see. And Federica has been such a great host, showing Sadi and I both around. So yeah, I booked a hotel again. I will be leaving in the morning and enjoying one last night in Manchester. It is the end of the night and I am in hotel room number two. <laughs> I think this is my second time on a travel vlog where I have had to book another hotel because I decided to stay later or longer than I intended to originally. I might should do a little bit better planning and, and be a little bit more ahead of myself when it comes to these things, but it's fine. It all works out. So yeah, the night is ending. It is like 10.30 p.m. So it's not super late, but I am exhausted. So I look forward to taking a nice hot shower, getting some rest so that I can get up early tomorrow. Federica and I are gonna meet for a quick little breakfast before I hit the road. I, again, just wanna say I love, love, love Manchester. I love it. It's such a beautiful city, modern, um, bustling, young people around. It feels really nice. It was very refreshing. And I still have one more day, kinda, you know, in the morning, but I still get to see the city one last time before I hit the road. So I will talk to you guys in the morning. It is another beautiful day in Manchester. So, so beautiful. I am at Costa Coffee waiting for Federica to come meet me so that we can have a quick little breakfast before I have to go get on my bus. I have a long four hour drive and I just realized that I have to work tonight at 6 p.m. I hope I make it back in time. But anyways, I'm just gonna enjoy myself, enjoy the moment. I hope you guys enjoy.